gozaimasu! Good morning from Morioka, Japan. It is day three on the Air Canada JNTO YouTubers trip. Um, today you're going to be going to the Kanto Festival, which is a lantern festival, so it's going to be very traditional Japanese culture uh, celebration happening. So I'm very excited to experience that because I have never seen that in real life before as a Canadian. Um, I'm going to head up for breakfast right now. All right, so for breakfast, I have a range of things. It's all buffet style, but basically what I got is some fish, rice, uh, a few walnuts, miso soup, yogurt, honey, and some granola, pancake with blueberry jam, fruit, and also, I'm not sure what kind of bread this is, maybe matcha bread with sweet bean paste on top, and also coffee. So today I'm going to be experiencing my very first hot spring. I've never done that before. <laughs> yeah. Here they're called onsen, and you're supposed to go totally nude, so it should be an adventure. Time, this whole mountainous area it actually gets very snowy so there's actually a lot of ski resorts here and people go skiing down the mountains yeah people come here to relax I'm about to experience my first time in a hot spring but it is going to be fully nude so I'm probably not gonna be able to take you guys along but um, I'm excited to see what it's like. Well guys, you are in luck because I am the only one here. So this is, I think this is the washing station. So before you go in the hot springs, you're supposed to wash yourself with these like little showers. It's quite humid in here. And I think this is like the indoor hot spring and then just out there there's an outdoor one. All right, here goes nothing. outdoor spring right here. It is so peaceful, the weather is perfect. Like the temperature, the breeze, and the freaking mountains, the view. I'm the only one here. This is gonna be super relaxing. Okay, so update, the water is very warm. Pretty hot actually. So I'm gonna have to get used to this. place to go for a spa treatment, a digital detox, meditation, a getaway. Down the mountain, um, we've got a train to catch because tonight we'll be heading to the festival. Soba noodles is probably my favorite Japanese food. So today for lunch we're going to a pretty well-known soba noodle spot which is very famous for its self-eating contest for soba noodles. Basically, if you pay $30, you can eat unlimited soba noodles and you'll have a personal waitress stand beside you and hand you bowls. The waiter will keep refilling your bowl and then you just eat it. And then she's gonna refill his bowl again. And then she just stacks that empty bowl. Look how many snacks of empty bowls this, these people have eaten. <laughs> like, that's insane. So much soba. This girl ate a hundred bowls. We're headed to Akita for a new festival tonight, and we're going to be taking the bullet train again. The Japanese countryside is like so beautiful, it's something of a daydream. Is 
are the summer version of the kimono. Women here wear them on the daily on a casual basis. They're super fashionable and so put together. Festival. And tonight is the annual Kanto Matsuri Festival. Right now what they're doing is lighting oh, each candle. lantern by hand, yeah, lighting each one up, the candle inside. That's crazy, there's so many lanterns. Single performers will balance poles of these towers of lanterns on their body parts. So like their head, their hips, their chin. It's actually insane. You bring the party of the goddess to me. I 